And we are live. Good morning and welcome to On The Spot 947, where we sit down and we have a little tete with some of the biggest and talented names in the arts and equally those who are on their artistic journey in the hopes of influencing and changing the world. And we're starting a brand new week and perfectly enough, we do have a brand new guest for you. And he first came on to the biz by singing cover songs and posting it online. Uh, he did get to cover a song of Piola Pascal's entitled, uh, song entitled Malapit Parin, which was really refreshing and at the same time just really, really um, heartfelt. And there's, there's a, a sense of optimism there that you get to hear when you listen to that version. And another song is called Sudo, which is likewise you know, heartbreaking but equally effective. Now, he has a single out that's called Another Home, and pretty soon we'll find out more about the song and where he truly feels home. All right, so let's give a warm welcome to, to Kyle. Kyle Juliano, good morning, Kyle. And uh, I'm at now. Yes, there you are. <laughs> hello, hello. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for having good me. Good morning, here. Kyle. Most welcome. As right. they say in your area, Maay Maaga, tama ba? Ah, it's Maay Buntag, yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait! I'm I'm buntag tayo. Sorry, I'm thinking of uh, yeah. if you're in the um Occident, uh in Bacolod, like it's Maang Aga. So anyway, oh, it's it's, it's yeah. in a way the same thing. It's just <laughs> it's spelled differently and <laughs> said differently. So uh, great to have yeah. you here on the show, and uh, we're glad that you could share with us along this ride of yours, this own. Uh, your own personal musical journey and and like any ride there had to be a beginning so i was running could you tell us um and if you do have vivid memories of when you first discovered music and when you first discovered that hey i could actually sing yes um actually it was when i was six years old um mm -hmm. uh, i was in my church and uh uh, yung choir conductor namin so, uh, yes yeah, so choir namin uh, she asked me to uh, sing for the uh, for the offertory song and ayun dun ko actually na discover na may talent ako sa pagkakanta and later on um, siguro uh, I was joining singing contest um, around Dumaguete City and outside of Dumaguete City and actually nakapag uh, competition na rin ako sa Manila at CCP um PICC and nice. that was when that was when uh, dun talaga na realize ka na whoa maybe uh, singing is for me and so after that uh, parang dun na, na dun ko na realize na oh baka kailangan ko pang mag ano mag uh, join pa ng mga singing competitions lalong lalo na sa national you know? so I joined Pilipinas Got Talent and all Siguro, I think siguro lahat ng mga national TV competitions. Pero, <laughs> yeah, pero hindi pinagpala. So, it was actually at uh, some point na nag-upload ako ng cover back in 2017. Uh, uh, 2016 rather. Um, I uploaded a cover of um, James Arthur's I think Say Won't Let Go. And okay. ayun, nag-viral siya. Nag-viral siya for about a couple of months. And the notice ni Sir Ito of New Colors from Universal Records, Sir Ito. Yeah. Uh, so thank you, thank you oh. so much. Na na discover mo ako. And uh, ayun, I was uh, part of the Universal Records family. Dun na nagsimula yung pagiging recording artist ko. Nice. Yeah. Um, like every ever singer who who first discovered that they could sing, um, as you said, we all started with covers. And uh, and when you start with covers, you get to discover your sarili mong vocal range and your preferred genre. Mo. Do you remember the artists whose songs that you used to sing a lot when you were starting out? Um, actually, uh, pinaka unang genre ko talaga is more on ballad. I was more on ballad uh, since I was six until, siguro, um, elementary days. Um, I was always singing about. Uh, Siguro mga songs tulad ni na Josh Groban, uh, Sandy Patty, and all other oh God, Sandy artists. Patty. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there's someone else Hello. out there who knows Sandy Patty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, mga Carpenters. What else? And dami. Sila Sir Gary Valenciano. Um, yes. Yeah, and then nagiba na nagiba na yung genre um, uh, habang uh, nung naging high school ako, and then of course. 
high school was more I was more on pop. Um, you know, Justin Bieber, Shawn Mendes, and all other you know mga bagong artists at that time. And then tung na college ako, somehow mixed na, mixed na until now. So parang good, yeah, good. it least, was a journey. Uh, Kumbaga, you know, it's 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 likewise when you eat something, you discover something for the first time, and sige, lahat puro yun. But after a while, magsasawa ka, then you feel like you have to move on to the next dish or a different kind. Yes. That's, that's always great. Um, how did it make you feel when you first discovered that you could sing? Was it something na parang, uy, ganito pa to? Or, uh, I think I sound good, you know, uh, But you know, I, I just didn't realize that. Ganun palang look ko when I sing. Did, 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 get, did you get that feeling when you first discovered? Um, parang sa akin kasi iba kasi yung feeling ko nun. Nung na discover ko na may talent ako sa pagkakanta. It was actually when nung mag uh, ano ako, I joined the singing contest in Manila. I think it was in PICC or CCP. I, I think it's, it was in PICC when I joined the Magsay Sai Sing uh, Search for Singing Star Competition. And I was the second season champion at the time. At that time, parang when I was singing on stage, parang na realize ko na wow. Parang ano tao dito? <laughs> I don't know the words. Uh, parang na realize ko na, uy, may talent pa talaga ako sa pagkakanta. More than just ano, parang more than just a skill. So parang, this mm-hmm. na yung parang gusto kong gawin sa buong buhay ko. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think I think kung sa kung sa normal na tao parang hindi niya magigets yon but for me I don't know. <laughs> parang yun na yung yun yung nafeel ko somehow. So I don't um, I don't know how to share? explain it. <laughs> I, I I I I do get it. Yeah. Um I mean for minsan kasi like when you discover that you could sing pala, it it's either two things. You discovered it yourself or pakanta-kanta ka lang and someone else heard you. And sila ang nagsabi sa iyo na, Uy, mukhang okay yung boses mo kung kumakanta ka pala. And that kind of like brings you in at the same time para questioning, O oh, kung okay ang tunog ko sa iba, then mukhang kaya ko nga. Parang ganun, di ba? Hmm. Um, was, was your family the first uh, first group of fans na sinare mo yung decision mo na parang, Uy, pa, ma, mukhang... Mukha, I can make a living out of this. I mean, mukhang kaya ko naman. I mean, hindi ako sintunado for the first few bars. So, mukhang pwede kong pagkakita or gawing career out of this. <laughs> um, were, were they the first people that you shared this decision with? Yes, actually, sila yung pinaka-first uh, yung pinaka-first na fans sa, uh, sa, uh, sa talento ko. And uh, actually, for the most part, ako yung parang Uh, I was basically self-taught yung sa pagkakanta ay parang when I listen to songs back then parang inaaral ko talaga binabalik-balik-balikan ko talaga yung yung bawat kanta bawat tono kapag may pag may konting ano no konting note na hindi ko magawa binabalikan ko talaga hang sa, hanggang sa makuha ko so basically uh, parang uh, most uh, for the most part I was self-taught sa pagkakanta. Mm-hmm. But then, nung as time passes by, parang um, yung support ng family ko, friends, and other people na nagturo sa akin sa pag um, hubog ng aking talento, skills. Uh, uh, they were also one of the reasons why kung bakit andito ako ngayon sa, at the, at this stage of good. my talent. Yeah. Ang, ang maganda dyan, you said that, you know, binabalik-balikan mo. And and that's really uh, a sign that you're committed to something that you're doing. Kasi hindi na yung, hindi na yung pwede yung, okay na yan. I mean, minsan, di ba? Yes. Sad, sad to say, minsan may, may bad habit ang Pinoy na, masado na yan. Hindi na ba siya yeah. makapansin yan. <laughs> But if you're the artist and ikaw yung metikilosong tao na kailangan maayos pa from the, you know, unang bato mo, kailangan malinis, maayos, wala kang makikitang bakat or crack, then um, that already is a telltale sign that you're serious about what you're doing and you know, you're an artist in itself because of that. Um, 
And you said that it's glad that your family mo is the first people, first set of fans mo that were very supportive sa'yo. How important is it for you, for family, to support their children's chosen profession? Sabi nga nila, um, learning is first done at home. And if you can't learn about support, you can't learn about acceptance and motivation sa bahay, then it will be definitely challenging for sure for you to learn it elsewhere kasi you may or may not get it or the amount na kinakailangan mo. Ayun, so um, para sa akin, no, um, siguro uh, without them, I wouldn't be able to reach at this uh, level. Hindi ako magiging isang recording artist. So without the help of my parents, ang parents ko kasi, they're very, very supportive. Lalong-lalo na sa yung talento ko sa pagkakanta. Everywhere, kung saan ko gusto mag-join ng same competition, mm-hmm. lahat todo supporta sila. Even kahit hindi about ano kahit hindi about singing whether it's mm, uh, school activities yes of course both sides ng ano ko um, parents ko sa mother side yung lola ko um, lola and lola uh, they're both parang choir members and then sa father side ko naman nice um, si, si lolo uh, parang gumagawa siya ng score sheet uh, bawat nota mm-hmm. and then parang kinakanta niya yun without using the keyboard or any instrument parang through his mind lang yung nota binabasa niya yung nota at nakukuha niya yun so parang parang naisip ko rin na realize ko na baka na pass down sa akin yung talentong yun i think that's And, true uh, yeah it's, it's in the yeah. gene <laughs> ikaw nga <laughs> so yeah you yeah, so, a very musical family it's good yeah so i think that's also one of the factors kung bakit ganito ako ngayon so kung saan ko nakuha yung talento ko and skills. So, yeah, I'm very, very thankful for my family. They're very, very supportive. And, yeah, so, kung wala sila, wala talaga ako sa point na ito. Hindi ako makapunta ng Manila, hindi ako makapag-guestings and everything. So, mm-hmm. that's, very, that's very great to hear. Um, we have some friends joining us as well, uh, listening now or watching us on our uh, our stream interview. Uh, Alfa Arwelo, good morning to you. And also Grace, Grace, Grace Zep. Oh, how are you, Grace? Um, she's watching from Halifax in Nova Scotia, in Canada. Hello. Wow. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Right. Uh, thank you for joining us. Glad you guys are able to join us. So, when you discovered that you could sing, uh, was learning an instrument the next step for you? Because um, alam ko you do play the guitar, ta? Yes, actually, uh, pinagsabay ko siya nung six years old ako. Okay. Um, uh, by the time I was uh, learning you know, um, some skills in singing, nag-aaral lang din ako ng guitar noon, when I was six years old then. So, binigyan ako ng tita ko ng uh, small guitar. Small guitar, I could remember it was still called a blue. And then, binigyan ako ng papa ko ng isang uh, parang book of parang chords for the guitar. ba diba? kasi sa nung panahon ngayon, nung panahon noon, um, parang there's this book of list of songs on my chords and lyrics and then chords yeah, yeah, then at the back yeah. of the book I think meron ba? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, meron pa yun makapal yun <laughs> yeah makapal yun and then dun sa pinakadulong ano, page uh, may parang set of chords there na inaaral ko so dun ako actually natutong um, uh, a few chords of the guitar and parang tinuruan din ako ng papa ko ng ilang mga kanta on the guitar so yeah And then, uh, siguro nag-aaral din ako ng piano noon. But mostly, um, I'm a guitar person. <laughs> okay. Um, is it is it easy for you to transition? Kasi kunyari, uh, you play, you know, uh, you hear a song na gusto mong kapain, gusto mong siprahin, as they say, uh, if you're a musician. Um, madali ba sa'yo to transition from guitar to piano? Or or purely guitar ka lang at kinalimutan mo ng piano? Actually, mahirap uh, from guitar to piano. Mahirap, mahirap talaga yung piano. Kasi, I don't know why, pero you have to do, ano, kasi, like, ang dami kasing keys and notes everywhere. But un- uh, unlike the guitar, where you can place all the notes um, on the same fret, di ba? Mm-hmm. Unlike itong, itong uh, keys of uh, the guitar, parang you have to spread your, you have to spread <laughs> your uh, yes, yes, hands yes. more. Right. So, ayun, Saka mahirap talaga yung piano. Pwede magdaling kahit saan. Oh, Saka ang guitar, yeah. pwede magdaling kahit saan. 
'di ba? Mm-hmm. Piano yes. 'yung madadala. Kapag ka may kaaway ka, gusto mong sapok 'yun, 'di ba? Pasimulan lang gitar, ang piano hindi mo sasapak sa tao. Sa <laughs> <laughs> dumadaan. Oh, yeah, yeah, pwede. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're not. Uh, hindi tayo pala dito. We're just, you know, just mm-hmm. poking the fun. Um, you, you do have. Uh, I mean, aside from discovering yourself, I'm sure this also allowed you to open up and um, and and look for other people to 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 bond with. Um, people who share the same musical ideas. Uh, people who are on the same wavelength with you uh, musically. You you also released uh, apart from doing the covers and eventually yes you did get noticed but you did have a collaboration last year um, mm-hmm. I believe and um, the, the song is called um, I was listening to that uh, <laughs> I think it was uh, I need you now uh, need need you now yes we're gonna say yeah, yeah. I, 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 it was at the tip of my tongue I said sabi ko kakatayto lang lady antebellum yes there you go I need you now <laughs> with uh, Sam Atkins. Yeah, with Sam Atkins. Yeah. Um, uh, can you tell us how did it start the song? Yet? Or were you friends with Sam even way, way before? All right. So that song, um, back then, si Sam Sam Atkins, um, actually, we were classmates in ano, 2014 here in Silliman University. So it's uh, isang, isang subject. Lang. It was, I think, okay. um, speech. It was speech. And then at that time I was parang ako yung leader for the speech choir at that time. And then Sam, parang hindi pa kami close noon. It was actually after two mm-hmm. years, 2016, nung nagsulat siya ng isa songwriter kasi. So um, he wrote this song for the Valentine Songwriting Competition. Um, mm-hmm. And he asked me to to interpret that song, but unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, to interpret the song. Because I was in Manila at that time, parang I think I was joining a national uh, singing competition, and then uh, mas naging close kami ng 2017, kasi I think 2017, 2018. Dun kami actually nag uh, parang communicate and somehow parang uh, sabi niya sa akin na, "Oi, why don't you? Since nasa mas nasa dumagete ka nun, uh, why don't we write a song?" or just jam or something. So ayun, nagsulat kami ng song for about a couple of hours lang. And then mm-hmm. the demo we finished before midnight. <laughs> And then um na stop siya noong mga 2018. Gusto gusto namin sana i-release yung song at that time. But dahil sa okay. ano, sa school works and everything plus yung pandemic noong 2020, uh, medyo mahirap sa amin na I release yung song. Uh, it was when uh, 2021 na nirelease na lang talaga na yung song. So yeah, very grateful for that song. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good song. It's a great song. Uh, you guys can listen to it as well on 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 Spotify. And um, and that's the thing about releasing a song these days. Kabilis bilis na lang, di ba? I mean, you know, you finish it, you. You, you you write it and um, of course you tweak it, make it sound as as crisp and as as perfect as you can, and then you just release it and and it's there. Um, and and I'm glad that you know a lot of musicians these days are are embracing that embracing that technology. But uh, do you ever see the uh, the comeback? <laughs> uh, Uh, let's say, ang pagbablik ng CD. Kasi ngayon, CD, wala na eh. Halos wala na. Diba? Unless you're a really, really big name artist, like, you know, a foreign artist or, or someone who really uh, can just pack in the numbers. Um, it's usually just digital music now. So, yeah. for, for someone who's who, who started with digital music, um, do, you, do you see yourself doing that? Going, going to the physical and releasing a CD? And regardless of yeah. what everyone, everyone says, uh, na parang, ay, wala nang CD, puro digital na. Ay, hindi, gusto ko eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, uh, siguro, uh, I think in the near future, uh, magkakaroon din ng physical, ano, uh, physical, like the CD. And siguro, I just need more time to, you know, write songs that are parang, um, siguro, mas, mas patok sa, sa mga audience natin. 
And uh, siguro pag may mga concerts na in the future, pag meron na ako mga sariling concerts and tours and everything, siguro magkakaroon na ng physical uh, material for the people, you know, yeah, and to you know, sign them and give them uh, the signed physical material. So ayun, uh, I just need more time. <laughs> siguro write more songs that are very uh, siguro relatable for the for most people. Lalo lalo na pandemic ngayon. So, yeah, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, you do have a new song right now that's called um, Another Home. And uh, before, well, I probably should let people listen a snippet to it. Listen to a snippet of it before we ask you something about the song. Um, I was listening to the song last night and also on the way here. And I must say that it's. Uh, well, I'll keep quiet. <laughs> I'll let people listen to 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 the song and let them decide um, how the song is. But if if you're going through uh, a breakup or you just came from a breakup or you're in the middle of a breakup, I tell you the song is that effective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just happy to para you know, bago nila pakinggan. So para wala okay. conflict, let me uh, turn this uh, our background music down and okay. quiet. Kamo na background music. All right, all right. And listen to the song in full. All right, here's the song. It's called Another Home. Yeah. Oh wait! Uh, oh, you're gonna sing for us, okay? And here I was yes. thinking I'm just gonna play you a snippet of it, okay? Um, but but great, great. Um, feel free and you know take it away. <laughs> okay, I'll just do it live, nalang, kasi para mas ano, mas 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 feel niya yung. Uh, yung okay. Pandemic. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. All the feels today, this morning. All right. So here it goes. Friday night. I'm sitting here at my favorite bar I think of my fifth class so far Am I okay? The thoughts of her scream inside my brain Her memories driving me insane It's all a blur they say our love was real and strong What did she tell me what went wrong? If you see me cry and don't feel bad I'm not sad, I just need some time alone Cause she's found another home Oh, uh, and don't worry about me, I'll be fine She's happier now that she's no longer mine But in time I know I'll find I'll find another home mm, Another home So much. That's a snippet of, of the song itself. If you want to listen, of course, to the entire song, then you have Spotify uh, to do that, or just you know go check out the song on on YouTube. Good morning, uh, Denin. Denin C, one of our uh, one of our guests before and a good friend, and he's saying hi to you and to me as well. Denin is also another singer songwriter, and uh, it's always wow. nice to have singer songwriters here on the show uh, as well. When when you when you do write, um, Kyle, um, sino na una for you, music or lyrics? Um, mahirap kasi, but uh, for the most part, siguro um, it's the music. Um, okay. I, I, ang hirap to explain, but <laughs> kasi sometimes both. It's a bit of both. Um, sometimes na una din yung uh, lyrics kasi sa uh, sa music, but uh, for the most part, it's the it's the music. Before the lyrics, medyo mahirap kasi magisip ng lyrics, and because uh, you need inspiration true, true. for that, yeah, you really need, need inspiration. Um, 
madali din pa for you to to collaborate or because some artists prefer to work alone and then they bring whatever it is that they've done to someone uh, and and that will be the product of a collaboration or sometimes you feel na parang when you're when you're stuck in that parang naka naka isang stand sa kapalang pero hindi ka na makaproceed because you know the mental block or whatever um, <laughs> it, it's easier for you to do that to to so to ask help from someone uy medyo na mental block ako tulungan mo naman ako or minsan nang gagawin na iba is sige na mental block ako today pahinga muna for today balik ang kita bukas or later ng gabi pag nakakain na ako and hopefully by that time medyo uh, I'll have a clear way of, of, of approaching the song how, how does that work for you in terms of collaboration? Well based on my experience um, kasi Simula ng 2017 na uh, nakipag-collaborate na ako with Kuya Rafi, um, friend ko siya. Mm-hmm. And he's actually a DJ before um, sa Yes The Best. Um, and uh, siya yung actually nag, uh, for the, uh, most of my songs are written by Kuya Rafi. And uh, meron din kaming kanta na uh, sinulat namin both. Um, so, I think yung collaboration namin mas mabilis kesa sa um, nung mga sinulat ko na my own songs. So, mabilis yung uh, um, collaboration kasi um, PRF is mostly uh, sa lyrics and I'm mostly for the for the uh, music. So, in a way, parang win-win situation for us. And uh, there are times na kapag nagsusulat siya ng kanta, uh, medyo masustuck siya, stuck siya and mawawala na inspiration. So, ako yung nagbibigyan ng inspiration din and somehow nakadagdag din ako, nakadagdag din ako ng mga lyrics and um, in the same way uh, kapag may na-stuck din ako sa ano sa uh, chords or chord progressions for the song um siya din may may ideas din for the song so so yeah yun yung sinabi ko na it's a win-win situation for us and mas mabilis siya for for making songs right. kesa sa mag-isa ka lang diba unless if you're Moira de la Torre or other great singers out there songwriters na nakakaano kakagawa talaga na or Zach Tabundo <laughs> Yes, Nakakadawa exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yun, you know? In one sit lang. Yeah, he doesn't need anybody. Siya pala, siya pa lang. Yeah. He is siya lahat eh. And he, he siya lahat, 'di ba? So parang yeah, yeah, we can't all be Zack. <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> yes. Um every, yeah. everyone does their own thing um differently, but um as long as you I guess you have the music and the lyrics and and the song itself to to speak of, then yes. uh masasabi mong may ginawa ako today. Yes. Productive ako. <laughs> um, speaking, of product, speaking of productivity, may pinipili ka bang oras when to say when to write? Kasi may iba parang ah, mm, di pa ako nagkapis ng mga so I can't do anything yet. Or minsan naman parang uh, they prefer to work sa kape when tahimik na lahat, everyone is sleeping and you have the entire mm-hmm. space to yourself to do that. So may may oras ka bang specified? No, for me, I don't have a specific time for that. Uh, kasi yung pagsus- pagsusulat para sa akin, uh, it actually happens uh, suddenly. For, kunyari, ano, pag nasa ano ako, sa isang class, when I'm in a class, and pag may naisip akong magandang lyrics or something, or melody, sinusulat ko agad. So, I work on it agad. And parang, it, songwriting is uh, parang weird. No? Parang, para sa akin, weird siya. Kasi, ayun nga, um, Uh, it doesn't need, uh, doesn't require a specific time to make, and um, actually, ang kailang requirement lang siguro is inspiration for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and nangyayari lang siya sa akin kapag ano, when I'm in a heartbreak or something. Uh, Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Most of my songs kasi are heart wrenching and uh, very heartbreaking. So yeah. Pero totoo yun. I mean, it, 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 it's usually ganon eh. Pag uh, may nangyari sa ating masakit that's when that's when we pour all our angst in and then you know sooner or later may kanta ka na um, sana naman minsan uh, pag masaya tayo makapagsulitin tayo hindi man lagi pagbigat eh and you know, sinasak yeah. sasakyan <laughs> bago na ako kasulat so um, I assume that this uh, another home as well as I Need You Now in the future will be part of perhaps an EP or an album? Is that something that uh, you're looking to completing down the line? Yes, I'm looking forward to... Uh, actually, I thought that last year, uh, I was hoping that this 
uh, this song another home would be actually part of uh, an EP but um uh, okay. right now parang tinatapos ko pang may dalawa pa akong songs na uh, hindi pa natatapos but uh, hopefully matapos ko this year para makapag-release na ako ng EP so yeah hopefully right. release na tayo we will be uh, we will be waiting for that excitedly yes. waiting for that Um, Chris Lambila Rosa also says good morning to to you and uh, and welcome to the spot. Yeah, uh, Mavic Patabler did good morning, din sayo. And uh, she's watching from uh, Paranaque City. Um, wow. Any any word of advice for um, for singer songwriters out there that are just starting or just slowly discovering that parang we kaya ko pala to. Yeah, um, siguro ang my advice ko lang is just try, try. Um, wag mo isipin yung mga negative, um, negative thoughts or opinions ng iba. Siguro just try and uh, parang uh, try and try until mahanap mo yung certain threshold na magbibigay, magapag ano sa yun, magapag realize yun na oh, is this some is this something for me or is this something not for me? So just try, yeah. simulan mo. And right. who knows? Baka para sa talaga yun. True, and that's the only way that you find out, de ba? Because yeah. kung baka parang parang ano? Eh, parang papa sa swimming pool. Ay lalang may ba ako? Ay wag dalang baka mainit or wag dalang baka malamig. But you haven't even stuck yeah. your your toe into the waters. So how would you know, right? Yeah. So yeah, everything you know, in life is a risk. Don't, So, yeah, yeah, don't try it until you've you know don't knock it in unless you try it something like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so with your with this single out and with two more singles in the works um, and hopefully an EP, um, what other projects can we hope to expect from you in the coming year? Probably an I online think, show. Uh, <laughs> I think, siguro yun palang <laughs> yun palang. I'm yun still in the works of yeah yun palang muna on the works of uh, finishing the two. Uh, last songs okay. for the EP, hopefully for the EP, and uh, ayun, I hope. Siguro marami pa tayong mga guestings after this, so I guess abangan yun rin yan. So yeah, all right, yun lang. We we will be we will we are just gonna be here with welcoming arms, welcoming welcoming you back uh, when the time arises and when your and when your EP is uh, out. Uh, for those who want to know more about you and your music, where can they find you on social media? All right, so on my social media accounts, uh, on my IG, it's at I am Kyle Juliano. On Twitter, it's at I am Kyle underscore Juliano. I also have a TikTok. It's also uh, at I am Kyle Juliano, and I have a Facebook page. It's called uh, Kyle Juliano Music. And um, mm-hmm. so yeah, you can stream my songs, guys, on on all digital streaming platforms on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, um, Deezer, um, Amazon. Also, the music videos are also on YouTube. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, thank you as well, um, Kyle, and uh, I wish you well. I wish you all the best this uh, this 2022. And when uh, you're done, and uh, you need to let us know, feel free and just you know come back, and uh, andito lang kami. Of course, yes. All right, or if na- or thank if you. ever, ako naman na padpad nando magete, sige. Uh, tour kita tour <laughs> tour <laughs> yeah first tapos kain na naman yes yes <laughs> all right well, hopefully wait ma- baka down the line apart from having an EP baka magkaroon ka ng konting cooking segment eh, I-, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> nako 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, partner, partner, come with your, you know, with your uh, kitchen, cooking loving uh, family and your cooking loving titas. <laughs> you know that you have titas who love to cook. Lahat ay meron. Yes. Uh, a family yes. member that who loves to cook and who loves to eat. But, uh, but yeah, thank you again, uh, Kyle, and um, wish you all the best My with pleasure. the single and with the uh, upcoming EP. So uh, the uh, social media accounts where you can follow Kyle will be in the show notes as well. And this has been KS for another edition of On The Spot 9 for 7. Till the next one, we shall be on the lookout for the next artist that we are going to be putting on the spot. So keep her right here. All hits, Melo 9 for 7. Sounds good. Take care, everybody. <laughs>